Well, good morning, guys. Pastor Steve here. I just wanted to share a brief meditation with you today. Uh, today I've been meditating in the book of Isaiah and in chapter 55. And I wanted to start reading in verse 4 for you. Uh, the scripture says, Since I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples, so you will summon a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you will run to you. For the Lord your God, even the Holy One of Israel, has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is near. Let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord so that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will freely forgive. So here at the beginning of Isaiah 55, the Lord starts off in the first verse um, uh, with this great invitation. It says, Come, everyone who thirsts. And he invites you to come and to taste of his life-giving food and water. And he says that um, he will make an everlasting covenant with you. The promises assured to David. So God gave David these promises of, of his kingdom um, going on, um, of having a son who would rule on the, on the throne forever. And uh, David, the scripture makes it very clear, David was, no, but was not very special as a human being. Um, as a matter of fact, he was the, the runt of the litter for his family. He was um, not respected or looked up to within his own family. Um, and yet God chose him to demonstrate his power and his glory. And so he says, I have, he, he describes, he made, he, he made David a witness to the peoples, a witness to what? A witness to God's glory. He made him a leader and a commander for the peoples. Why? Because God chose to use him, right? So similarly, those who come to God, God will make the same type of promise to them that God will use you for his glory. So then a nation that you do not, you will summon a nation you do not know and nations who do not know you will run to you for the, for the Lord your God, even the Holy One of Israel has glorified you. Now this is specifically dealing with those who have come to God's waters, those who have come and tasted of his food and his drink that are life-giving, and bring eternal life, then those, your uh, God's power working through you will be powerful enough that people you do not know will, will come to you. They'll come looking for God's power. Um, and so he says, then the follow-up to that promise is then seek the Lord while he may be found. Call to him while he is near. You know, this, this is um, a limited time offer, as the saying goes. It's, um, it's while you're here on this earth. Seek the Lord on this earth while he may be found. Um, pursue him while he is here. Call on him while he is near. Let the, wicked abandon, let the wicked one abandon his way and the sinful one his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord so that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will freely forgive. You know, so those who come to God's waters, uh, those who come to his, eat his food, and drink of his water, who come to uh, have fulfillment and hope in him, they are to seek God and abandon their sin while they can. Choose God over everything else and see the promise of God as his power works through you to draw people to you that you don't even, to draw people to him, excuse me, to draw people to him that you don't even know because of the power of God at work. So I'm just really encouraged by this meditation today. Uh, it gives hope to me as a servant of the Lord in this uh, uh, crazy time that we live in. Um, and I, I hope that and pray that it is a blessing and encouragement to you as well. Uh, but I hope you have a great day in the Lord. And God bless you. Go in peace.